Welcome to this month's special edition of Hughes Boat. Today, we travel all the way down to Imperial Brava on the northern coast of Brava in Spain to visit Sunseeker, Sunseeker Spain's uh, base location close to the French border. Here, they offer an all-in package for anyone wanting to buy a used boat in this part of the world or wanting to ship their boat from the UK out to Spain. That includes finding a berth, servicing, anti-fouling, obviously buying a boat, looking after it, wintering it, dry stacking it during the winter if you really want to keep your pride and joy out of the, uh, out of the elements during those cold six months when you're not visiting the boat. They offer a superb wintering package. They've got a full man and Volvo spares back up. But more importantly, you've got these fantastic crystal clear water, superb backdrop, Pyrenees over there, France just over there, and lots of sunshine. After our blast out in the Bay of Roses in the Sunseeker Portofino 40, we at long last get to uh, go below and have a look at the accommodation. Something I really like about the accommodation is the porthole design. You get these very long rectangular portholes through all of the cabins that let in a huge amount of light, plus you've got these singing light sections in the coach roof. Boats clearly very, very stylish and very, very modern, very, very contemporary, and as a result, of all the light you get a feeling of space within the boat that you wouldn't normally get with a 40 footer. Okay this is the second of the four boats that we're looking at in Imperia Brava. Uh, the Atlantis 47 and for me probably my favourite. Uh, she's a traditional old school Mediterranean sports cruiser for one of a better expression. Great big open cockpit, massive bathing platform, huge sun pad, Traditional soft top and a fantastic driving position at the helm with superb all round visibility. Let's go on board. Great driver's helm, what more can I say? Fantastic all round visibility. The port and starboard beam. I can see the bathing platform there. Perfect visibility over the bow. And of course, being a shaft driven boat, she's easy to go stern to with your mooring. As you can see, typically Italian, chic, <laughs> lovely wavy galley top, um, glass table, possibly that's a little bit, uh, shall we say, uh, fragile for a bit of heavy sea use, but it looks great. Um, I quite like the carpet effect, but again, you're going to have to think about keeping that clean. Lovely light airy interior, light wood, they work together well really does enhance the space and apart from anything else it looks pretty damn good too. A great ensuite heads for the forward master cabin. Traditional wrap around circular shower so you can have a shower without making the rest of the heads completely saturated. Um, yeah it's typically stylish even the toilet. Typically Italian. With this boat the master cabin is most certainly the mid cabin. No question about that. You walk in here, you think this is a cabin for me. Full beam mid cabin, um, offset, I double double island berth, uh, loads of room, sufficient headroom within the doorway, and certainly the bigger of the two ensuite heads. Here we are on board the Predator 60, one of two 60 foot boats in our feature. Truly impressive boat, massive bathing platform. Huge tender garage, acres of sunbathing space, and bags of partying space in the cockpit. Let's go on board. Well, you've got comfortable seating for five at the helm, three to starboard, coupled comfortably to port. Very commanding view. Once you've got the electric roof back, you can stand up, look out, great all-round visibility. 
failure than that you can sit down into these lovely sculpted comfortable bucket seats here we have the full beam master mid cabin fantastic island berth plenty of width plenty of length substantial portholes both the port and starboard really enhance this feeling of space and give you a great view out when you're lying in bed. Television, just where you need it. And obviously, a pretty substantial ensuite. What more can I say? This is the last of our four boats in our used boat feature, a Manhattan 60. A boat that offers a good blend of practicality, style, performance and sea keeping. Let's go on board and take a look. Well, it's hard to beat the saloon when it comes to um, its open plan layout. Lots of light, superbly stylish. The joinery is quite superb. Fantastic all round visibility. An incredibly modern helm, which offers you a great driving position down below. But something else that shouldn't be forgotten which few stylish boats like this have, and that is proper door, little ship style, opening out into the side deck. Quick, easy access if you need to get out and do your warps when berthing on the starboard side. Well, here we have the uh, full beam mid cabin, owner's mid cabin. Oh, what can I say? Fantastic. Plenty of head from here and pretty much all the way around to about this point here. I like the portholes, the triple portholes each side, give you a nice view out when you're lying in bed. Um, large ensuite, complete with a proper separate shower. Full length mirrors here. Wardrobes behind, very spacious wardrobes at that. Yeah, I don't think many people will be disappointed with this as their cabin. <laughs>